So in this video, I'm going to talk about the two-port amplifier model. And uh, I really hate all those words, um, so I'm just going to replace them uh, with this, uh, this, this one title. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to simplify circuits. So basically, if you've got some circuit uh, say you've got, for example, a common source amplifier, and I'm assuming you've got some familiarity here with, uh, with basic, basic amplifiers. So you've got some input voltage, you've got some output voltage, but you don't just want to know how does this guy work. You also want to know, well, what happens when I connect that circuit to another circuit? And I don't know, let's say I connect it in a, an original way, like I connect the output voltage, I don't know, down here, and then I connect this transistor like that. I don't know, uh, what, whatever you want. Um, rather than analyzing every one of these circuits individually and then analyzing them together as one entire circuit, there's a simpler way to go about doing things. So what we do is we take this first circuit and we say, okay, well, uh, I don't really want to deal with this circuit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. I'm going to transform it into a circuit that I think is going to be easier to work with. So, and sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. Uh, but generally, it's uh, this this way of doing things provides a really really powerful way of uh, decomposing circuits and understanding how they interact with each other. So I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna model this as something. Uh, as an amplifier with some input resistance R in, um, some gain, uh, so a voltage source A times the input voltage, uh, where I've defined this here as the input voltage, and some resistance R out. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing for this amplifier or this circuit. It doesn't have to be an amplifier. That's the interesting part. It doesn't need any transistors. Or it doesn't need any op amps, uh, transists, I can spell, uh, transistors. It doesn't need any transistors. It doesn't need any op amps to be treated like an amplifier. And we say, well, this circuit also has an input resistance. Let's call this RN2. Um, it's also got a certain gain, A2 times Vn2, and here Vn2 is the voltage across this resistor. And then we've got some output resistance, R out 2, and then some output voltage, V out. And you might be saying, and then we, we can ju just draw boxes around these things. Although I think the color does a does a good enough job of this, and you might say, "Well, Jordan, you've just complicated things. You've made you've made our life more more difficult. Rather than having to deal with just this relatively simple circuit up here, uh, which we probably could analyze with uh, just with simple circuit analysis, nodal analysis, if you like, you've turned this into this complicated uh, multi-stage." Uh, thing where I've got to find the resistance, I've got to find the resistance here, I've got to find all these gains. Um, but this turns out to be much simpler in many cases than working with the circuit directly. So what we do, the general way of analyzing uh, amplifiers or of two-port analysis and this is actually a variant of two-port analysis um, because we're not using matrices here. So traditionally, you'll have some matrix and it's gonna have four different terms. I don't know, maybe they're impedance terms. Uh, but this is kind of complicated and kind of disgusting and also very unnecessary unless you're dealing with microwave amplifiers, for example. And this is a much simpler way of doing things. So as you can see, uh, the interaction between these two amplifiers is just modeled by a simple voltage divider. So the input voltage of the second stage V in 2, which is here, is just equal to, uh, well, it's A times V in times R in 2 over R in 2 plus R out. And that's just a simple voltage divider. So rather than having to deal with 
each circuit as sort of an individual beast, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually decouple the problem. So if you calculate the input resistance, the output resistance, and the gain, for example, of this circuit, then you know how this circuit interacts, this simple common source amplifier. Uh, you know how this circuit interacts with every other circuit whose output resistance in, and input resistance and gain you have calculated. So this two-port model, uh, or just simplifying circuits, um, allows us to deal with very complex uh, multi-stage circuits in a very simple, a very simple manner. And you might ask, well, how do we actually calculate these values, R in and R out? How do we calculate these magical values? And the answer I'll go over in a future video, uh, but we use Thevenin's theorem. And we actually use a simplified version of Thevenin's theorem, uh, which without any, uh, so Thevenin's theorem with no independent sources which leads to the idea of Thevenin resistance. And so in summary, uh, I've just described a general method. We, we haven't actually done any examples and I'll, I'll show you one in, in, a, in a future video. But we've, we have a general idea that if you've got some circuit, you can characterize it with three different parameters. It's gain, it's input resistance, and it's output resistance. And then you can use these three parameters to figure out how this circuit interacts with any other circuit. So in the next video, I'll do an example just to make this more concrete. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. And I'll see you next time.